Hey Banana on Fire! This week I'm going to talk about desire. Some people believe that desire is not a very spiritual thing. For example, a certain Buddhism teaching tells you that desire is bad because attachment is bad. Attachment is the source of all suffering. So if you want to get enlightened, just don't be bothered by anything and get rid of all your desires. That way you achieve ultimate freedom. To me, that approach seems to not only throw out the baby, but throw out the whole village with the bath water. Part of the fun of being human is to actually get attached to something and having a sense of devotion to something. Of course, that means whenever there is a separation between you and the things you're attached to, there is a sadness involved. But hey, being sad is part of being human. I believe that when we came into this life, we accepted on some level this whole package of being human. And having desires is as human as having two legs. So to say that to become a better human, you need to get rid of your desires is almost like saying, okay, most of humans walk on two legs, but if you can walk on one leg, you are somehow a better human. But no, that just makes you, you know, a human with one leg. And also, if you try to get rid of your desires just for the sake of being spiritual, you will be actually missing the most important tool to navigate human life. Desire is actually a nature's gift. It's almost like hungers and fatigues are your body's way of telling you how to take care of your body. Desire is your soul's way to tell you which direction to go in your life. It's something instinctive and natural, something beyond your mind and thinking. When I'm hungry, it's not because I consciously think that, hmm, it's seven o'clock in the evening. Time for dinner. I should feel hungry now. It doesn't work that way, at least not for me, and I hope it's not for you, otherwise life will be freaking complicated. Same thing goes with desire. It just comes out naturally from your heart. And every one of us has, you know, fundamentally similar, but actually very individually distinctive desires. Some people desire to be an artist. Some people want to study science. Some people like making money. Other people like to pursue freedom. We all want different things and that define who I am and who you are. It's like birds swim and fish fly. No, they don't. It's like birds fly and uh, fish swim. It's part of nature, the natural rhythm of the universe. Of course, there are flying fish too, you know, they're out there. I believe following your desire is a most effective way to manage your life. It's the path of least resistance because when you're aligned with your heart's desire, you are in harmony with the universe. So find out what your soul is hungry for and go after it. You will have the highest chance of success with the least amount of effort. Some of you are saying, how about conflicting desires? I want ice cream and I want to lose weight too. I want to become an entrepreneur, but I don't want the risk. What shall I do? Well, here is a tip. Ask your heart. When there is a conflict in your head, always ask your heart for the answer and trust its intelligence. Because the alternative would be to write down on a notepad pros, and cons of every potential decision. I used to do this a lot because I used to be a very rational person. I don't know about you, but what happened to me a lot was that I would write down five pros and five cons and I would stare at them and I still didn't know what to do. Because listing all the facts and rationales are not going to give you the wisdom to actually making the decision. Wisdom is something only your heart can give you. So a big part of letting your desire guide your life is to have good listening skills to your heart, to discern the message of your heart and differentiate it from the noises coming from the collective consciousness, your fear, your ego, and your socially conditioned beliefs. And that is the part that takes practice. At the end of the day, to desire is human, to relinquish desire is absolutely not divine. So master desires first, and then you can move on and act like you don't give a shit to anything if you want. Okay, that's all for this week's Banana on Fire. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe and share it with your friends. I love you and see you next time.